Holy. Oh, not you again. You've made a mistake. What the hell, man? Then we'll be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying here. The darkness binds. Hello everybody, it's a Gimme Corner here, and we're playing Sally Face Chapter 4, so let's get into it. I'm awake. I'm awake already. This already looks wrong. T TV's on ceiling. Jeez. Can't even reach my own like alarm. Uh, Lizzie Bob. Oh, like a uh, Lizzie Bob from Good Men. Oh, well, I guess she's from her she or he is from everywhere else. Anyways, hello, Lizzie Bob. Who are you? I am. Lord Blazybub. Whoa, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname. Stowed upon my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. Can I get into that door? You've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth? You mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gain upon three. Once you have you, once you have done so, report back to me. All right, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Blazybub. Lord Blazybub. Okay, bubs. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go through these in order then. So let's start from one. Interesting. Hello. Uh, hi. There was a knock on the at the door, and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly, it forced my hand, and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in, in my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. Good for you. Goodbye. How is this art? Is it okay? I guess. It's NP. <laughs> Maybe I gotta memorize those, but my memory is not gonna serve great for all of them. Um, no one has DF. Anything else for here? Oh, great. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods has faded. Their watchful eyes turned horrified screams. And then everything was black. Number three? Okay, this one does not even have a mouth. Seriously? I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost. Then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love. And everything was perfect. Until it fell apart again. Now there's only pain. Apparently there is just pain. What's this symbol over here? Alright. It's locked. I don't know, man. Bless you, bub. Can you help me? So. Uh, peering eyes. They're filled with regret and sorrow. They're sins. They are in a lot of pain. They are heartbroken. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through that door, there's no coming back. Thank you. You're welcome. See you, bubs. Can we get a into that door? I tried the symbols. I don't know, so I'm just gonna go through. Hmm. 
PCRs. I don't think we have any. That's a lot of VCRs. He looks so grown up now. He actually got his growth spurt. Hey, buddy. Still got those antidepressants, though. There's Wednesday over there. Huh. Is that my little nightmare? I don't know. Got a guitar. It's upgraded, so that's cool. Oh, where's my cell phone? Uh, I can't find my cell phone every once in a while, too. This place looks a lot different. It's been quite a while. Basement. Are we still in the apartments? There's some blood down there. Because this is definitely not ours. Uh. Yeah, well, you know what? Basement time. There's a gizmo door in there, so maybe we'll find gizmo. Don't think we're in Addison Apartments. Hey, Gizmo. Dude, really? Why do you keep getting those stickers? He's a sticker fanatic. Okay, we're definitely not in Addison Apartments anymore. Where in Kansas are we? We just updated the lock. I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. I don't know either. Don't know how many numbers either. So I guess I'll look at that later then. Let's continue, like, looking through the house, I guess. This is cool. We can turn on the news. Our very own local mystery. In other news, Knockbell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of an employment for our small town since 1934. This is the third time the building has caught fire, though never have we seen such devastation. The authorities believe the fire to be a result of foul play, but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of three, where over 20 people died. Luckily this time there were no casualties. However, three factory workers are currently in the hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill. They have been on a slow decline for the past decade and have been struggling financially. If they don't re rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. That not, does not sound good. Oh, we can go in here. Okay, we haven't really moved into this room quite yet then. It's just very interesting. Got a nice plant at least. Okay, this is a nice kitchen. Look at all these stuff. Um, don't want to go out the front yet. I want to see the upstairs. This is a huge house, first of all. So I'm guessing I'm living with all my friends. Oh, hello Todd's uh, boyfriend. Morning, Salio. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Yeah, I'm alright. Have you been sleeping okay? I heard you got up a few times last night. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. I know you're not a big fan, but you should have the cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks, I guess. I'm, I am feeling a little tired. Not a problem, Salio. <laughs> he seems like a pretty cool guy. Have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. Almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Thank you. Where's Todd? He has class this morning. All right. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow, I wish. I mean, yeah, slow. It's It's been slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can't handle myself, right? Plus, I, I am two years older than y'all, too. No, I know. It's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pack five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. 
<laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that the lovely Ash was coming to town today. Lone wolf of four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a no on the excitement then? No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still some coffee downstairs, calling your name. Salad face, come get some. Did you hear those strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of, uh, like, never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man, you sure you okay? Yeah, I, I'm good. How's work going? Ah, oh, shoot, work. I was supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Sally. I'll catch you later. See ya. At least I could get past you now. Oh, you have the picture down there. That's cute. There's a note from Todd to me. Alright, let's read that. Oh, cool, we got the do door code. Oh, that's such a foot phone. Oh, that's old. My cell phone reminds me of the old walkie talkie days. Battery is dead. I have to charge it first. Alright, let's go put it on the charge before we go into that place then. I'll check back in a minute. So the code is 4035. 4035. Ooh, got it. Let's see what's in the shed. Oh, this is where we do our ghost hunting planning, I guess. Here's our board. I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it all makes. Yeah, well, there's a lot of information on there, it looks like, so. Is the cult still operating? If so, where are they all? It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for our new equipment. When he found out what we were up to, he basically thought we were real-life ghost snappers. Well, that's pretty cool, though. There's a tape on there, though. Huh? What's this loose tape? Phantom. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think he can see me or hear me. Dang. I wonder if there's an order to them. There probably is. So I gotta look out for tapes then. Oh, I noticed some of these YouTubers. Oh, I forgot his name. I haven't watched him in forever though. Um, the guy up there with the headphones, red hair. Oh, if you guys remember his name, please put them down in the comments below. I haven't watched this stuff in ages. It's so bright outside. So, no outside? Alright, let's go check the phone then. Um, see if it's all good. Looks like it's charged now. There's a message from Larry. That was fast. Are you awake? I am now. What's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Other than ghosts and creepy basements? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. Ready. On the way now. Guess we're gonna go back to the apartments then. Okay, dude, I'm coming. Episode 4. The Trial. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit lying to your original statements? Yes, I was in shock from what happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. 
It's important that people hear what I have to say, whether they believe it or not. Well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there's still a killer on the loose in Knockfell? That's all the evidence presented today. The victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, and the eyewitness state accounts. That all these things were some elaborate cover-up? Created by who? The county police department? If it's alright with the court, I would like to continue with my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically. In order to prevent details from being taken out of context, well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher, but realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it in a while since we blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts has been missing for weeks. That is a little odd, though who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were finally able to pass. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something's under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some stuff. I can feel it. Huh. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too, like everything is foggy and there's something there, just beyond the fog, just waiting. Yes! Exactly! Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So are you gonna check it out? Or what? Of course I will. He's still so much taller than me. Dude, should we get Todd? He has class today. Oh, alright, I was hoping to get a new gadget or something. Sorry about skipping that, he's going pretty quick. He has been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not mess with it. Hopefully it works better than the box thing he, he made me last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. Roadkill back there. Salvation Road. So, are y'all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'd be nice to finally get out of this basement. Cool. Todd said we could use the van, too. Sweet. Yeah. Guess we gotta go back to the Knockville homes. Big cemetery here. And a ministry? God, see, it's all. That's not ominous at all. And back to old Addison Apartments, not gloomy at all. Just very odd trees and very dark clouds glooming right above it. Looks like you're right about that storm. Alright, let's do this. Right behind you. Alright. What does that say? Move. I can't... It can't rain all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. He still has the tea. Oh, we could go in 104. He's in here. Mr. Addison has been storing this stuff in here for so long. I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest are old clothes, old tea sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old junk. Larry! What? You snoop through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring, old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. I guess, can we snoop too? Or is that... Okay, no. I guess we could also just go say hi to him. wonder how his business is doing. Well, good morning, young sirs. We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in this building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us. 
and I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of the ba that basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both, you know. I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Let's see. Miss Rosenberg, are you still here? How old are you now? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. Why did they leave all Ro Rosenberg stuff in here again? Addison still thinks that she she's on vacation or something. And that she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. Or in is she in the hospital? I'm not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fe fully human. Oh, right, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them, or tried to stop them. Which would have made her super old. I think she was a witch. That would make sense, though. If she had powers, why would Rosenberg just mope around this little apartment? Maybe she was too old, or maybe just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> I know you would. <sighs> Miss Gibson, are you gonna be nice to me for once? Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Ugh, why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson, we were... Well, that's about par for the course. My lady sure can hold a grudge. What did he do to her? But yeah, she was never nice, I swear. No more newspaper. Oh no, that's the next one. The bird cage is up, though. Huh, what? Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the bird cage. Never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it, almost like someone had tried to open it. Hmm, I need a screwdriver or something to open this. I'll come back up when I have a screwdriver then, Sally. Holy! Oh, not you again. You've made a mistake. What the hell, man? Then we'll be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying here. The darkness binds. Dude scared me. I've caught that bum sleeping up here before, too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. He might have a point, though. And, he, and you guys are literally not gonna say anything about him just banishing out of thin air? But okay. Okay, then. This room's a little pinker. <sighs> Looks like there's something in there. Oh, it's another tape. Perfect. I think I'm gonna try to do this in order. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. Hope she's at least with Megan. Yeah, me too. And we're going right into the hole. Alright. Noose. Oh, so much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't serve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate loot for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the counselors summon the demon. Just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think he... he do you think it's really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Then we'll blast it back to hell again when it shows up. I mean... If that works again, if it gets stronger, maybe the blaster won't blast it. Megan? Hello, are you with us? Nothing on the Super Gear Boy. Hey, where did her necklace go? Huh? I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. 
Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. But that's weird, her necklace is gone. Nobody really comes up here. Oh, Robert. How's this guy doing? Got a lot more posters than last time. Still have everything else the same, though. Hey, hey! There's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? That's top secret. Sally, my man, I'm an investor. You can't share even a little detail with me. Actually, we're looking into something right now. That's why we're here. Have you seen anything strange lately? Anything at all? Hmm, well, I've got this weird rash on my left foot. If, I got, if you guys could take a whiff and let me know what you're... Uh, I don't think we're really qualified for that. I'm just effing with ya. My feet are fine. If they're so fine, why don't you marry them? Ha, <laughs> Larry. Keep me posted, fellas. Alright, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll tell ya. Dad and Lisa. Oh, they got together. That's cute. Hi, guys. Oh, look at that photo. Oh, marriage photo, too. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hi, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> Sal. We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on. What do you say, boys? Lisa is going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Mmm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight, but I'm, if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message you, or whatever you kids do, once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. Right, then. That. Sounds good. Well, that's cute. So I guess me and Larry are brothers. Oh, it turns into Dad's office. Can't take anything or search. Doubt they want us in the room, but all right. It's a very small bed, though. Interesting. We can't do anything in here. Okay, let's move on and explore then. Let's see what's over here. So, still the same. Cutscene. Okay. Um. Uh, hi, Mr. Sanderson. Oh, sorry, we didn't realize anything. Any, anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockfeld tonight. I, I, just need, I just need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... This may sound a bit odd, but have I, either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. It's gonna cause him more pain. We haven't seen her. Right? Well, perhaps she's in a better place now. I hope that she is. Sandy didn't deserve this. Oh, God. Would you boys do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let's, let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. Sorry, dude. That's in here. Very broken tape. There's a tape here, but it's broken. You can just take it. No. Don't think we have anything for it. So, if anything, I could always come back later. Oh, now it's just CJ's place, not not the college kids. So I guess CJ's the only one that's left. Hey CJ. Yo, what's up, guys? Yo. Hey CJ, are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. <sighs> hey, David. Still haven't found your pants. Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What's Zin's up to? Hey, David. We're checking in with everyone. How are things going? Uh, it's awfully kind of yous, but I'm afraid I can't touch at the moment. Sierra isn't feeling too well, you see. So I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thanks, you's. Thanks, you's and both. 
<sighs> Mannequin does not feel well. Hey, Jug. You have a... It, oh, you guys got together and had a child. Hey, guys. Hi, Sal. Uh, hey, Larry. Sally face. Aw, you got a Furby, too. <laughs> hey, Jug and Mabel. Hey, guys. Yo. You two like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see some things stay the same. Ooh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you now, would it? I suppose not. Uh, how are you two? We're good, you know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah, how have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay, keeping busy with school and what's not. So, Chug, I heard your, that your parents moved out. They left a few months ago, too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me, I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? You guys named the kid Soda? <laughs> of course. Notice, any notice anything weird? Nope. It's been nice and ghost free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. See ya. Child. Hey, Soda. How's my best baby doing? Hee <laughs> hee Wanna go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal, she has a bit of a rash now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love? I want to ride on Uncle Shaw's shoulders. <laughs> Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning? Oh, okay. Aw, uh, don't worry a little. So, if you take the medicines you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. Hee <laughs> hee, promise. I promise. You bet. Hee hee hee. Aw, cute. Man, how many years has it been? You guys have a child that's a couple years old. Uh, there's one more place over here. Check out his old place. Wonder if it still reeks. Uh, what's that? Huh? What is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it there. What if we need it for something? What could you possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Faze, and this is my friend Larry. We've researched paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockfell, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. And it had oh, tooth four out of five, so we gotta find five teeth in here. Alright. No tape. Down another level we go then. Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. They got the shoe dollar paired up. Um, so that's the blood stain. You need any readings from the gear board here? Nope, not even your little goat buddy is hiding. They removed that freezer. I guess no more goat head. They haven't even cleaned the bathroom? Are you kidding me right now? Oh god, I can't. I don't blame you. Nothing I could interact in here, so... <sighs> it's been years, so that thing must be stink up. Cleaning this room. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Something here. Huh? There's a tear in the carpet here. I can't pull it up by hand, though. So I'll come back with something. I also need a screwdriver. A lot of meat hooks. I should have known those guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place, but out overnight. With just two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died, too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them, too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight. Because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No, but... I could sworn I saw one of them going into the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing though. Meetings and whatnot. Could be nothing or it could be something. A church always did give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. 
been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there just to check it out. Cool, I'm down for some good B&E. Breaking and entering. Come on, dude. All right. Uh, we're such rebels. Uh, nothing else in here, though. Hey, Todd, parents' place. Where's the husband? Sally Face and Larry Bear. This is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey, what brings you two up here? Just saying hi. Hello. Hehe. <laughs> A uh, hello. Hi? <sighs> Anything over here? Nope. Anything supernatural in here? Did those boys just go in the bathroom together? <laughs> Greg? Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on the Super Gear Boy either. It's not what you think, Janice. <laughs> always locked. Tape. Hold on, what did this say? Yeah, Todd's old room. <laughs> hey, Ray, what do you got in here, huh? Hey, guys, Larry, you back for more? Come on, Larry. Nah, I'm cool, Ray, thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. Sal, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? Uh, fine, it's great. <laughs> Isn't it, though? It's such a thing of true beauty. How did you get all this stuff, anyways? Well, if I told you that, I had to kill you. Ha. <laughs> but really, this isn't exactly legal per se, so I appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. And of course, I'd be happy to supply you with some produce whenever you like. Your secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He knows that nothing will fit fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Aw, he's lucky to have such loving parents. Such good friends. I'm dang proud of all you boys. Dang proud. One day we will turn to the stars. Ah, oh, we talked with everyone apparently. Totally. What's that? Pocket knife score. Nice, that could come in handy. I think I could pry open that carpet from upstairs. I want to finish exploring first, so I'll wait. Did you see the news? They say that Charlie was going to be released. I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely the cult probably has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Ugh. As much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't all our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. Oh, I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I swear it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll end up somewhere. Hopefully in our hands, not someone else's. Another tooth? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something. Well, we gotta collect five of these and it's only the second one I found in here. Gotta find the others. It's a tooth treasure hunt. It's weird to be leaving after living here for so long. Felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change. I didn't know I needed a time, so I'm glad it worked out that way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I know I'm not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's keep looking around. All right. Anything over here, including any teeth? No. Bathroom. Very dark in here still, but nothing. Got all of his paintings down. Still turn on the stereo. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were head banging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> you were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. Felt bad. <laughs> Yeah, but then I once told you I was fine. Why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Aww. Ooh, we could go visit the treehouse. That's nice. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. 
It doesn't feel real. I don't. I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before. I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Ah. Oh. I, I gotta tell him, dude. He's my bro. Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but... I, I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not to tell you about him. He says if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it is your father, then I will. I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad is an alien or something. Doesn't that make him an alien? He crashed late into here after losing the home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister Evelyn, but she died in the crash, she got lost or something. It wasn't really clear on what happened to her. Are you going to say anything about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? Really, dude? That didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I'm s I swear. Alright, dude, it's fine. Can we drop this for now? Okay, but we're going to talk about more later. I'm not making this up. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.